Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your reading. We're going to have a look at your person's current feelings and intentions towards you. Okay. Aries, the kind of person that you're dealing with does have a lot of love for you. Okay. This person definitely wants to be in a relationship with you, in a committed relationship with you. Okay. And uh, they love you to the moon and back. They do want stability and security with you. Now, if you're married to this person here, this person definitely wants to keep the marriage uh, alive. Okay. They want to still be in that marriage with you here. If you're not married to this person, then this person wants commitment with you. Okay. They probably want to celebrate with you. They want a reunion here. If you guys have separated, then this person is probably your twin flame and they want a reunion. Okay. But there is some kind of celebration that they want. However, they also know at the same time here that this person here, no matter how much they have love for you, right? No matter how much they love you, there is a compromise. There is a certain sacrifice that this person needs to make in order for them to come towards you or in order for them to give you the commitment that you want. Uh, that they're not ready to do. They're not ready to do that. So instead of coming towards you and giving you commitment, what they think is easier to do is to keep coming towards you and go in circles. So again, they want a brand new beginning with you. So this person here and their feelings, they're very passionate about you. They're very attracted to you and they want to start a new beginning with you. Why? Because the love is still there. But they're in two minds about commitment. Now this person here could also be someone here who's either juggling you with another person. That is if you know that. If not, then this person here is in two minds. Okay. They're weighing out their pros and cons. Either about wanting commitment with you or about wanting a new start with you. Okay, but they're in two minds. What do I do? Because the attraction is there and you're the only one that they want. But marriage could be a problem here. Commitment could be a problem here. Okay, this person clearly knows what they need to do. Okay, but they're just trying to weigh out their pros and cons. Am I making too much sacrifice just to give Aries a commitment here or just to be with Aries here? Okay, or am I losing someone uh, someone uh, better than Aries? Or whatever, I'm just giving you scenarios here. But this person is very indecisive. Okay, they try to see what is best for them. Okay, or they try to see what is convenient for them here, but they're still not making a decision here. And the first week of December, this person is still coming towards you with the same energy, you know, still not making a decision. So there's still going to be that lack of stability. Okay, they're still going to be on and off. What are this person's intentions towards Aries? First week of December 2021. For some of you, this person could already be married. Or you could be married and this person wants something passionate with you. So if you've broken up, they want to start a new cycle with you. And they could be juggling you and someone else here. Or just juggling the idea of what to do about this connection, even though they want this with you. What are this person's intentions towards Aries? This person's intentions towards Aries for the first week of December 2021. So again, I'm getting the same thing here. This person still loves you very, very much, but they just feel it's more sensible to hold back their emotions and not think only from their heart, but also to think from their head. They just think it's more smarter rather than not opening up complete like, hey, I love you, I miss you, right? That's something that you could be doing here, okay? But someone you're dealing with here is just not, I'm again, I'm not seeing someone who's logical here. I'm seeing someone here who probably is expressive about their emotions, but like if you express this much, they express only this much, okay? Because they just think it's very immature, you know, to open up and just be vulnerable there or just like express their emotions. Not the best at expressing their emotions. Now with their intentions here, I feel that this person here could be uh, going through um, a rough patch right now. There could be a rough patch going on between you and this person here. For a lot of you, this person knows that something's ended badly between you both. They feel backstab betrayed, you feel backstab betrayed, could be both of y'all, okay? But they know something ended between you both here, okay? And which is like very turbulent. It's still in their intentions, it's still in their mind here. And it's kind of affecting them, okay? So uh, something, um, your connection could have hit rock bottom with this person here, okay? And uh, it's kind of still playing on their head. Uh, in their intentions for the first week of December, your first 10 days, they want to take action towards you because you're coming off as very attractive. You're coming off as very hot, sexy, bold, um, assertive, uh, passionate, you know, someone who has a lot of suitors. You could be looking very sexy right now, but they're heavily attracted to you. Okay. So I feel this person wants to take action towards you, but 
they won't do it. This person has no intentions of taking actions towards you, although they really desire you. They know you're the one that they want here. Why? Because I think A, either they think it's over and done with you both, okay, and nothing's really going to work out here. Or because they are, um, this person is uh, living in their own mind prison. Okay, they probably feel that something won't work out between you both here. Why? Because it's too uh, tough, first of all. And secondly, they feel it's just next to impossible here. Okay, so they don't see a solution. Okay, they're very confused. They're very confused. They don't see a solution to get what they want with you. Okay, but let me tell you both the things which is stopping them is all their own mindset. Yes, if you want something, you know, like they say, right? When you want something that you've never had, you've got to do something that you've never done. That's something that they don't want to do. But um, they are feeling stuck in their own head and um, they don't see a solution. They're clueless right now. Okay. Let me see how does this person view you or the connection with you. That will tell us more. <clears throat> tell me how will this person view Aries or the connection with Aries for the first 10 days of December 2021. How does this person, how will this person view Aries or the connection with Aries for the first 10 days of December 2021. So, I do feel here that this person here does want to communicate with you, okay? They do. But you know, their communication is like, it's like very childlike, okay? It's so immature. I mean, there's nothing great about the communication here. They're just very, you know, all of a sudden they miss you, so they want to communicate with you. Then they want to have passionate talks with you. And then it, uh, and the moment you talk about something serious or the moment you're me being mean to them or the moment you, you know, if you talk about something that from the past that hurt you, right, they'll again, again, the passion's going to go down. Okay. So again, they're going to run away. Then again, they'll come back. Okay. So this person is very interested in you passionately. Again, not saying that they don't love you. They love you, but they just feel it's better to keep it more passionate and it's more wiser to not show the emotions here. Now, how they view this connection is that they are stuck on you. They can't let you go. They're addicted to you. They're obsessed with you. You are coming off as a connection to them where they just, no matter what happens, they can't shake you off. Okay. They are at a waiting and watch energy. Okay. Uh, they're waiting and watching. They want forward planning with you. They want forward movement with you. Like I said, they, for the four of wands, if this person does want, mar want long term with you here. But right now they feel that you they just want to wait and watch. Okay. They're in no hurry to pursue this connection and move things forward here. They are seeing you as, like I said, very attractive. Okay. You're coming off as a uh, real badass to them out here. Okay. But yes, they do view you as view this connection as something that has the potential to grow very, very big. Okay. So they do view this connection as the Ace of Pentacles where they would want something uh, committed with you, but at a later stage in life or some way, some day they would want to. But right now they're all about passion. Right now they're all about passion here. Okay. So. Keep that in mind here and um, yeah, that's what I have for you. All right. Hope this reading resonates. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.